Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Your face? Yeah, it's it's Heck kind yeah. Of, it's kind of interesting because you can set up so much damage over time here, and you have a tank to back it up. You have great consistent damage and potentially lockdown with Gravitas with loses his own. And DRX holding onto this minion wave so that Henna and Delight have to push very far forward. Uh-oh, Sulka. Yeah, Umpty moving on in here. There's the flash in, and the Miasma was used on Lava. That is not the target you really want, and First Blood is going to go over to Delight. Yeah. He had that flash from earlier. Oh, we might have a Realm Warp play, though, and that will yeah. put some champions that do damage in here. As there we go. King in. It's going to be real rough. Yeah, wants to pick up the TPS report, but that is just going to go completely to waste. Look at that, just blowing off in the wind. If they do decide to hit each other. Going to take... Uh, going to help as far as Kingen's healing is concerned and dealing with that one as Jun's going to face check and uh, he's going to flash. I don't know whether he's going to survive this one though. As, yeah, Lantern Shield not going to be nearly enough as Pyoshik is like, I have uh, I have mispositioned. This, this time he has the safeguard to get out. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this was, you know, DRX with some momentum, right? As uh, in goes Pyoshik actually looking for Umpty. Crescent Guard is going to be there, and Pyoshik is just going to get out. Damn, that was very close to him just dying as Moonlight Vigil comes down. The flash from Henna! And just puts that piercing arrow right through it. Continue to hold on to this lane down here towards the bottom side. You can see Jun there doing not a whole lot. And Umpty's going to do his favorite thing in the world, which is killing dragons. Dragon win rate just keeps going up. Remember, they were able to take all the drinks last game, even though they lost the game. Just all about dragon control. DRX is going to be able to take himself the uh, Rift Herald. Ooh, manages to get that safe guard off quite nicely as Sulka misses the ult. And Lava's going to be able to turn this one quite well. Kick back. Kyoshik trying to escape. He ain't gonna. Yikes. Ends up getting the Herald but loses his life for it. Yeah. Unfortunately as well. And uh, I believe puts over two control wards uh, into an empty Baron pit just to add insult to injury. As now we are going to have the Herald go down as there's the playback. That's a really, really dead Leona. But Chains of Corruption are going to be there. Pyoshik burning down for now. As our Shelly is going to be able to get a charge. Here's a Realm Warp. As La through late game, which I don't think we have. Um, we we have like once or twice, you know, of course we've had the 71 minute game and things like that, but it doesn't mean a lot of those. As Jun's going to be able to grab himself the uh, the hook, lands it there onto Umpty as there's a very, very close range ult from Taeyun. And now Delight could be in trouble. Solka coming around, finds the ult. And Delight's dead. Could this be the comeback for DRX? And it really starts to feel like it. Again, Solka comes through, uses his Ready own. to fight you here. And yes, it's Jin Zhao too, but look at the peel. Dune has flash, gets over the wall, and Umpty's like, oh, I should not have gone in there. Yeah, the moon take him out as far as the damage threat is concerned, but it's, I guess, it's only 30%, so you still yeah. build a bit of it. As uh, Pyoshik was, yeah, there's the kick flash. Delight goes back, the rest of DRX moving on over as Delight. Okay, that's a last hit with a hook. Love that. Delight not able to get over to, to the wall to flash over. That's some su bloodthirsty supports as Doe would say in this game today. Indeed. King is going to force this Ooh. turret down. He's going in. Are we going to get it? And uh, nothing's going to happen. No, of course not. Uh, blunt not about how these fights are going to go because Fred and Brion have to execute this so well. Now they're going to get this turret. They're going to have a little bit of extra prio here. The yep. timing of this is a little bit awkward, so DRX will have the opportunity to clear this and respawn, but I want to see ultimate you're, you're in the game. It's pretty nuts so what it's going to be able to do. Yeah. I'm going to grab this turret. A lot of extra gold going over here locally to Sulka. Gets over there for the local gold injection. Like Silly Billy. They do end up taking this streak now. For the Brion, don't get the fight they were looking for. Do end up losing that top turret, but it's one Cloud Drake. It's going to be Cloud Soul, of course, where we're headed here. Again, a small you. chance over here to rotate and grab the Scuttle. Solka on the uh, other hand. This is a bridge too far. Yeah, this is real dangerous. As he had. There's no way that you can really go safe. Please, he does find an ultimate, but uh, that ain't going to really do too much. So, a um, bit of a whoopsie. The yeah. old flash from yeah. Jun gets himself to relative safety, but Freda Brion's still going to be able to get this shove and collect a bit of extra gold. I mean, yeah, Cassiopeia coming over here very late. Like, look at how far away yeah. he is right now. Once again on the top left of the map, gets a little bit of split push done. Sokka lying in wait here as uh, does give away his position with a noxious blast. <laughs> um, this is just like, I dare you. Can, of course, always uh, play some Pong uh, 
uh, with the uh, Lee Sin. This game just is just ult. sneak and pop away. Like a, a bunch of like dried forest Ow. about to get struck by lightning. Okay, here we go. Yeah, hook connecting onto Auntie here as he does use that ult. The kick cut does come back, and Taeyun's going to be delivered the kill. Very nicely done. It's both teams are just really like walking very fine lines, but then falling off. Um, Ow! Taeyun eats massive damage. Yeah, these uh, these piercing arrows are actually very important as that one was blocked. And I think the DRX might want to go for either a turn. Okay, no, they're going to get back onto this Baron. You're crazy, DRX. Another piercing arrow. This time it's avoided. There's the Solar Flare, and here's the Ram. Jun's in a bit of trouble, but Taeyun gets himself back, potentially far enough as Kingen. Dealing with the Baron, dealing with all sorts of things. No one's dead on DRX's side yet. What if Rion can offer here to this fight is in life? Meanwhile, we got to go back to that. Yeah, check out this one. It's just Mondo taking some damage. Yeah. We're just going to stay in the replay for the moment. John actually using his stopwatch very effectively as DRX are back on the Baron. Another Ron Horn comes out as Over goes Hoy. Actually, Alley oops his own ram. And immediately the Aphelios is taken down the entire bottom lane. Evaporates and DRX are going to follow suit. That is a clean ace. And Freda Prion, are they just going to run up the mid lane? I think they yeah, might. I think so. We're 30 minutes into the game here. You don't need the Baron to end this one. They've got pretty insane wave clear. They've got awesome pushing power here. And that, I think, is going to be just about it. The death timers are so long at this point. The staggered respawns coming through for DRX are going to be very difficult to defend with. Demolition available here for Hoya. Going to yep. speed up the process. And what a weird game we just watched. It's been very, very strange, Wolf. Yeah. Uh, you know, lots of mistakes on both sides. I felt like whoever made the least mistakes was going to end up the victor here. Yep. And the Cassiopeia pick, as cool as it is, and as much as it is a fun pick for Solka, does not work out, falls flat on its face. Yeah, it just really didn't work. And I feel like that happened. I feel like we talk about Sulka's Cassiopeia all the time when it gets picked. And it doesn't get picked very often. We're like, oh.